skincare is done I'm gonna kick off the vlog <laughs> good morning everybody my name is Erin I'm a 24 year old who lives in Washington DC today I'm gonna do a little work day in my life I've got an in-person day at the office and then I'm going to an event at a local queer bar later this evening so I thought I'd take you along for the ride normally in my morning routine I'll do my skincare and take my antidepressants and then I'll go out to my living room and read for a while or honestly more likely I'll watch YouTube videos on my couch before I really have to start getting ready for work. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna do my hair right now before I go read because just looking at it in the viewfinder, it's looking a little crazy. So I kind of want to fix that. It feels kind of weird like talking to the camera and not talking about my apartment now that those updates are all done. But now that we're kind of getting back to vlogs here, I'm hoping to kind of get back on putting out one every week. I feel like with the apartment updates I was really struggling to put the videos out in a timely manner and I ended up just kind of taking my time a little bit more. I also recognize that a lot of you might have subscribed to this channel because I was doing apartment updates therefore may not be as inclined to keep watching which that's totally okay but if there's anything that you would like content wise uh feel free to just let me know. I'm open to new ideas. I am trying to pick up the camera when I feel motivated or inspired. I, for example, was planning on filming this next week because I'm going to a sapphic social event. I thought that would be a fun thing to vlog, but then I was like, wait, I'm motivated to vlog this week. I'm going to an event at a queer bar later tonight. Why shouldn't I just vlog that? Because if I get to next week and I'm not feeling as inspired, then I'm kind of screwed. So all that to say, um, the event that I'm going to at As You Are, which is one of the only lesbian bars in DC, they are hosting a Survivor 46 premiere night. I'm not sure if this video will go up a week after the Survivor premiere or it'll go up three weeks after the Survivor premiere, but I still thought it would be fun to film. And if you're a Survivor fan, let me know what you think of the season so far. I'm very curious as to how they're going to top season 45 because I thought that was the best season of the new era so far. Okay, hair is done. Let's go read for a little bit. Take back what I said. I'm sitting with this love hangover. Boy, it's hurt in my head. It's the middle Mom's gotta go to work, okay? I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so it's about 12.15. I am going to start my lunch break. On my lunch break recently, I've been doing activities in this book called Inward. Um, I found this at like a local art collective type storefront. It's a guided exploration through healing, awareness, and self-love by Olivia Tacunbo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But it basically just gives you some prompts every day, uh, the same ones for the most part. And it seemed kind of silly to me to do these at first because I'm not very great with gratitude journals historically. But when I started doing them on my lunch breaks for my in-person days, I felt like I was more rejuvenated going back to, you know, the afternoon part of my day. So I figured we'd do one together. So first prompt is intention for the day. Um, I think balancing productivity and social time is a good intention. I have a lot that I want to get done today before I go to the survivor event, but then once I get there, I want to be able to completely unplug from work. Where did I experience joy today? There were some trees that were blooming that I noticed on my bus ride over to work today. I don't know if they're apricot blossoms, but something was blooming. So I was just happy to see some life back in DC. I affirm. Affirmations are always like hard for me. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna keep it simple. I affirm that today is gonna be a good day. This is what I mean by like, I'm pretty bad at gratitude journals, but hopefully I'll get better over time as I keep doing this. We're in raspberry velvet and the rabbits in the hole where the apple tree fell over two years ago. Man, you could never stop it, it was always gonna go. When you're hiding in the cotton, get a tickle in your soul. And I could really go for a little bit of rock and roll. Yeah, I could really go for a little bit of rock and roll. Let's go looking in the sugar cane And wander around the country in the pouring rain Win a couple dollars, lose a couple games And walk tall laughing in the sugar cane Then take a trip on a golden airplane Yeah, then take a trip on a golden airplane And you tell me what your heart's been through Tell me where you're going to Tell me all the things you'd like to do, but you can't Cause you're scared that you're going to hell Feels alright, but you can't really tell All of that cigarette ash is good and well So this is the bar fit. I added a hat and a necklace and I put on my leather coat because I didn't want to wear a puffer with a hood on it. So the coat and hat combo is key for the rain that is going on right now. And green pants from work earlier today, white sneakers, pretty simple, but I normally don't wear hats. So I'm kind of like branching out today. I think this looks cute and yeah, let's get going. I'm so excited to see this premiere. I love you. Three little words, one big meaning on top of the world. With a feeling now it's gone, I had it in my grasp. I really should have known that good things don't last. And I'm really lost without. I just wanna go back 